September 20th, 2017. Just wanted to get a quick shot of the Jerusalem artichokes and also of the raspberries. Uh, maybe I'll grab a clip from earlier this summer, about two months ago, before these grew out. Another, well, probably 40 or 48 inches now. It was 36 the last time I measured. Um, anyway, these are rocking, um, and they're just under a foliar with complete trace mineral and hormonal support program. And uh, next year, they're going to be really ready to rock. I probably will propagate some of these this fall and set up for a larger operation. Uh, main reason I wanted to shoot this video was to catch the Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, this is their second day flowering. I was too busy yesterday to get a, a shot, but uh, if you look at the size of the lawnmower versus the size of those, uh, they're massive. And uh, I'll take you in up close here. And uh, just let you get a look at them. I just think they're beautiful and uh, excellent food source. Um, and uh, I'll show you the tubers uh, once we get deeper into fall and I start harvesting some of these out. Um, and they propagate themselves really well. And uh, I think I'm going to use some of these stems just because they're so big. Uh, as pepper steaks for next year because uh, when they dry uh, they become uh, like a hard steak kind of almost like a stick and I think they'll be excellent pepper steaks and uh, they're grown here on the farm so no need to go buy steaks or cut down trees to make it happen these are an uh, excellent renewable resource um, <clears throat> and they're an excellent soil builder as well um, and these were all propagated in the last uh, two years, I think, it might be as much as three, but I think it's two uh, from seven or eight uh, tubers. So all of these plants here, it's probably 25 foot long and probably eight foot wide, all came from seven or eight tubers only a few years ago. So that's how fast they propagate and how fast they can take over. And uh, given that they're excellent soil builders, uh, they're, uh, they're a great way to manage a piece of soil that you want to record, recover or restore uh, without a lot of effort. And uh, I did a, a test here this summer where I mowed off this corner um, right through here. And because I wanted to see how fast they'd grow back. And uh, with a good short mowing after I let them get maybe five or six foot tall, uh, they really didn't come back that much. So I think with a couple of good hard mowings at critical points, you could knock these back out and prep a field for planting. Because uh, the downside is these tubers will come back the following year. And if you don't uh, mulch correctly or cultivate or do something to suppress them where you plant a crop in behind them, they probably would come back on you. But so far this experiment is working pretty well. I mean, I can uh, my plants will easily compete with... Uh, you know, whether it's tomatoes or corn or whatever, they'll easily compete with these short ones. So I think that's a, a great way to build up soil with not a lot of effort and harvest uh, some kind of a, you know, a staking crop or a fiber crop out of it, as well as a food crop, and also promote pollinators at the same time <clears throat> with these big, beautiful yellow flowers. And man, they are a bright yellow. And uh, yeah, and hey, there's pollinators coming in right now. Let's see if we can get zoomed in on them a bit. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so anyway, so you can draw pollinators, build soil, and uh, not put a lot of effort into it, and then use it as a way to uh, to prep a piece of soil that is not necessarily all that uh, fertile, and uh, and turn it into soil that's fertile, and then easily mow these under and plant your new crop in whatever you want to plant behind it. Um, or alternatively, you could let them go to fall and then, you know, dig the entire root crop out and then the following spring plant behind them. I probably would do some kind of a uh, combination drench program uh, post-harvest uh, to put biology and the right trace mineral and hormonal support in the soil to get the soil cranking over the winter. Because believe it or not, fall is one of the best times of year to start building soil for a crop you want to plant the following season. So... Uh, I hope this video has been informative, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to do so down below. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.